Brian Wynn, president of the Electric Drive Transportation Association, on how this unique organization moved from being vehicle-centric to technology-centric with convergence into the huge national security asset called the electric grid. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary, and that surprised some people because um, you know, there are people who have been working in, in this, toiling in the vineyard, as I say, uh, for even longer than that. So it's 20, 21 years now for this particular organization. Um, and the movie is very different that we're looking at today. That's a question I get asked a lot. Haven't we seen this movie before? The answer is no, uh, we haven't seen this movie before. One of the things that changed quite dramatically is that EDTA in, the original, in its original configuration was focused on electric vehicles. It was very vehicle centric. Today we focus on electric drive. So we're not vehicle centric, we're technology centric. Um, and electric drive can be configured as pure battery electric vehicle, hybrid, and there are many hybrids now, and I think over 25 different hybrids either in showrooms or coming to showrooms in the next year or two. Um, plug-in hybrid vehicles or plug-in electric drive vehicles in general, um, and pure battery with range extender, and of course fuel cell electric drive vehicles which uh, create electricity on board using a fuel cell and, and with hydrogen as a carrier. That technology can be used in a lot of different ways, and that's really important given the, the number of vehicles that we have in the fleet that we want to transition to sustainable, uh, clean, sustainable fuel, preferably fuel that is given in an energy security environment that is produced from domestic feedstock, like the grid is, for example, the generation of electricity in this country is to a high degree uh, produced from domestic feedstock. That means we keep the energy dollars that we're spending on transportation in this country. Uh, that's a, uh, a, a lot of those ideas, energy security, et cetera, were there in the very beginning of the founding of EDTA when it was actually called the Electric Transportation Coalition um, 21 years ago. Uh, but today we have a technology that can meet so many more needs of the transportation fleet, and that's really important. The other thing that's very different today is that we, we're benefiting from the convergence of so many different technologies um, that not just benefit electric transportation, but faster microprocessor speeds, much better software, um, and the fuel source for plug-in electric drive vehicles, i.e. electricity, is going to come from a huge national security asset called the electricity grid. Um, and that's important because the electricity grid is, is domestically, it's generated from domestic feedstock, number one. Number two, it's better today to plug your vehicle in, uh, even with today's generation mix, than it is to use gasoline. We have very good studies that have been done by partnerships, uh, collaborations between the utility industry and the environmental community that bear that out. And more importantly, the electricity grid is not standing still. It's getting more robust, it's getting cleaner, and it's getting smarter. So we're benefiting today from this convergence of many, many different technologies, and that's the big difference between EDTA in its initial stages 21 years ago. And today.